Hello, um, I'm Gillian. I'm Head of Structural Dynamics at Bure Happold. Um, I've been with the company since 2001. I'm Sherman. I'm a graduate from the Sustainability and Physics team and I started in September last year. Fantastic. And um, how did you get into engineering? Um, so my background is in architecture and environmental engineering. Um, I've had some work experience in the architectural um, industry before and just before my final year I've uh, looked for a placement, a summer placement and I got a placement at this lighting consultancy firm um, and then that turned into a full-time role in my final year um, and then when I graduated I realised I wanted a bit more and not just lighting um, and then came across Brew Happel. Fantastic. Yeah. And have you got a bit more? Uh, yeah, 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 definitely. Not what um, you wanted. Like, yeah, <laughs> um, it's it's good experience so far. I've enjoyed my time here so far. Um, yeah, just it's it, I've enjoyed working on like the big projects because in my last job it was just local, but then now it's great to have like a direct impact on like massive scale projects that um, would be seen as I don't know the baseline of uh, future projects. Fantastic. Yeah. What about yourself? Um, Oh, well, I sort of fell into engineering, but I think looking back, I probably was an engineer all along. Mm -hmm. um, at school, I did maths and physics and mm -hmm. loved those and really wanted to carry on doing them. Yeah. Um, but my teachers at school were like, oh, you need to be an accountant. You need to be an actuary. <laughs> it's like, oh, they sound really dull. I don't want to be sat in an office all day. Just, you know, I want to, I want to be out there. I want to be doing stuff. I want to be making things. Mm -hmm. So I've always made things. And speaking to my parents, apparently, I used to take my toys apart when I was a kid <laughs> just to find out how they work. So maybe, maybe I have always been an engineer. So uh, I then applied to do engineering mm -hmm. um, at university. And... Back, back back, in the 1980s when I was applying, um, there wasn't that many um, engineering courses out there. Yeah. So I ended up doing a general engineering course. And thankfully, after doing that, I found you know something I love because I love buildings. Yeah. Um, and, and so, yeah, I opted for structures. And so I've moved on from there. How did you find, like, the transition from when you first graduated to, like... The professional world. Um, I think it, everything's new, and I think you just you just embrace all the different things that you learn. And I think yeah. very much when I started, um, the I started in a company that was very different to Beer Happold, um, and um, we they had a really good graduate training scheme, so we were just exposed to lots of stuff, which I think mm -hmm. was fantastic. You know, you got to see all the different size aspects of, of, of engineering, retained to site, and really kind of uh, sort of immersed yourself in the construction world, which yeah. I think is great. Mm -hmm. Made you kind of think, oh, actually, yeah, this is what I want to do, which, yeah. which is, yeah, really cool. positive. What project have you worked on to date, particularly, that you um, feel proud of the most? I think, well, I've, I've worked on a lot of our big stadium projects, but I think that's what people know me for having worked on. But I think mm -hmm. probably... The project that kind of changed the way I thought about Bure Happold and working here um, was the Nuvola project, which was a um, it's a fabric cloud within a convention centre, yeah. um, and it's the first project what I worked on that we really, really tested the boundaries of, mm -hmm. of what the design guide said, and we actually went beyond there and were sort of designing in the unknown, and actually that innovation was really inspiring, and I think. Mm -hmm. From there, that's really pushed me to want to do that more and more. And every, and every project I work on now is like, right, how, how can we push things? How can we invent new stuff? How can we go beyond? How can we deliver better? Yeah. And, and I think that's what really inspires me, just to keep going and keep, keep doing engineering. Yeah. Yeah, how about you? Um, so at the moment, I'm currently working on the Sustainable Cluster Master Plan in um, UAE. Um, for me, I'm proud of that project because it's the brief was sort of set as that project will be seen as like the net zero um, like baseline for future projects for everyone to like see as a precedent um, and I feel proud of that because I feel like I've made a direct impact on future projects um, and also similar to what you've just said um, I've had like first-hand experience of how 
we work in this company and that's not just following the brief but like challenging it and like seeing what's best and you think that's what inspires me to go to work every day yeah. <laughs> just like having new challenges every day yeah and the yeah. fact you're also working towards making the planet a better place yeah definitely which is fantastic yeah. <laughs> so I joined Bure Happold in 2001 mm -hmm. and started working on the Emirates Stadium yeah um, so at that point, this was the first stadium that Beer had done, mm -hmm. um, and it was all new to me. And we were working. Uh, there, was, there was sort of outline guidance for how to design for crowd dynamics, so mm -hmm. how the stadium will vibrate when you get lots of people jumping up and down. Um, and so I was I was tasked with looking after that part of the design. Mm -hmm. um, and from looking at the guidance that was published, it was very clear that there wasn't enough information for us to design properly and to really yeah. push the building as far as we wanted to. Um, and so that inspired me to look for opportunities to actually better the guidance. So I mm -hmm. talked to Bureau Happold and um, then I went and did a PhD at the University of Bath, mm -hmm. uh, yes. focusing on human perception of vibrations. And then my career just kind of broadened from there. I've taken that and brought it back to Bureau Happold, brought the skills I learned on my PhD, brought them back to Bureau Happold and then just developed them further and further. So we now, I've now got a team um, and we are doing not just stadium dynamics but floor dynamics in, in uh, science buildings um, and lots of other sort of human generated vibration issues. That's really good. It's nice to hear that there's lots of opportunities within the company because um, yeah since starting here there's been loads of opportunities as well and being part of the YEF has helped me feel confident in transitioning from grad from being a graduate to um, working in practice and yeah and um, now I'm a elected climate officer for the YEF and um, being part of the sustainability team um, I feel grateful in um, not only practicing sustainability in the work that I do, but also um, pushing it to the rest of the company. So, yeah. And do you hope to do push that to beyond your Apple? Do you want to sort of yeah. shout, shout loud to the louder <laughs> world yeah, about definitely. what we do and, yeah. and how we can make a big difference? Yeah, definitely. Also, um, I think Bureau Hap uh, the climate conference um, uh, is a massive help in that. Having the YEF to start with, was really great um, when I first started because it's nice to be around people of like similar age to me but not only um, being surrounded by young people who are on the same stage as I am but also I found that it was really um, it wasn't that difficult to integrate with the existing um, employees of the company like it, they, the company was just really friendly and welcoming. I think it's fantastic how things have changed I mean very much when I joined the industry, um, it was women Women in construction had to be a certain way. You had to be a certain sort of strong, yeah. determined person in order to make it. And I think now, I think that the amazing thing of, of where, where the world is going is that everything is so much more accepting and actually mm -hmm. people can just be themselves and there can be a role for them. You don't have to be that. I mean... I was lucky I was that kind of strong person that doesn't mind telling people what I think and, and you know, standing up for what I believe. But I think a lot of women were forced out of the industry um, mm -hmm. when I started, and I think that's a real shame. And I think they could have been a real asset. And now what's brilliant is that everybody is accepted and, and people's strengths are, are championed and brought to the fore, and, and everybody is part of the team, which I think is just so, so much better way to be. Yeah, it's also great to see um, a lot of women in the higher up positions, which is inspiring for like women like me. I'm guessing back in the day there wasn't um, no, as no, much. No, no, no. Whereas now were. it's like yeah. we we look up to them and like oh I could be there one day. So yeah, it's inspiring. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think it's it's I think it's very much a lot of what I do is thinking actually, I know I'm in a position where I can inspire people and. Mm -hmm can help people on their journeys and I actually make a real positive you know move to try and do that and actually yeah. say actually it's you know it, this is an industry worth joining and it's for people who who love that sort of creative and but also the sort of mathematically creative sort of side of of, of work I think it's it's fantastic and particularly you know problem solvers I think
yeah. you know, every day I come, <laughs> I come to work just to see what the next problem is that has yeah. to be uh, <laughs> resolved. So, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Sharon, what advice would you give to people thinking about joining the industry or women joining the industry? Um, I'd say just go for it. <laughs> um, it's been really fun working here and I've enjoyed all the projects I've worked on so far. Um, and also, it's I've I feel that the industry has, has changed, and it's inspiring to work with other women in the industry as well. Um, and yeah, just doing inspiring work every day. <laughs> Fantastic. I think I think for me, I think what's brilliant about the kind of the work that we do and the industry we work in is that actually there is so much opportunity for. I suppose developing into the sort of parts of of the business that. Um, inspire you so I mean I've, I've always done sport sport has been my life since I was very very young and yeah. when I left university that's what I wanted to be I wanted to be a sports person but my dad said nope I'm not funding <laughs> you anymore you've got to go and get a job so I had to go and get a job but yet somehow I've managed to make sport a big part of what I do and, and I think that's fantastic so I've managed to marry my love of math mathematics my problem solving my creativity and my sport all mm -hmm. together into, into one job, so I think that's, that's amazing.